I'd like to show you how to remove unwanted T1 noise from a heteronuclear two-dimensional NMR data set. This kind of noise is typically present in HMBC spectra, or in this case, a fluorine proton Hosey NMR spectrum. And you can see the T1 noise stripes associated with each of the fluorine signals in this NMR spectrum. So what I want to do is clean up this noise and make a more presentable data set. The first thing that we're going to do is look at the F1 uh, domain of the spectrum and choose a region where there is no signals but only noise. So this region where, I move, where I'm moving the cursor. And we can look at the row numbers associated with the limits here. So this is approximately row number two, 200 and, or sorry, row number 420 or so. And down here is, is row number 270 or so. So what we want to do is take the projection of these rows store that projection and then subtract that projection from every single row in the two-dimensional NMR data set. And the way you do this is under the processing uh, menu on the top. Go under calculate projections. We want to calculate a positive projection so we'll select this option. Projection, we want to sum up the rows and we want to use rows 270 through to row 420 and we're going to store that projection in process number 999 so if I click OK I'll store the projection there if I read that project projection by typing REP 999 I can see the projection which is just the the projection of the T1 noise in the spectrum in that region I'll go back to the NMR spectrum REP1. So here is our two-dimensional NMR spectrum that we want to subtract off the, the uh, uh, T1 noise from. Now if we go under processing and add, subtract, multiply, we want to uh, subtract a one-dimensional spectrum from each row. So we will select this option and we have to tell it where to find that. So uh, this particular data set is named GL underscore 179. It's in experiment number 10. We store the projection in process number 999, and this is the directory on my computer for the data set. So if I click OK, I will subtract that projection from each row in the two-dimensional NMR spectrum. And now you can see that the data is cleaned up. If I scale the spectrum up, you can see that this region is void of any noise at all and that's why it's important that we, there are no signals here or you would subtract those off as well. And if we scale the spectrum on a more appropriate level we can see that we have a, quite a clean um, proton or fluorine 19 proton Hosey spectrum at this point. One caveat of this is that if you did have a real NMR spectrum stored um, as a projection to be displayed on the top that this will now be the projection that you saved with just the T1 noise so I'm going to recall the fluorine 19 NMR spectrum that I had in experiment number one so I'll select experiment number one of this data set process number one and put the fluorine spectrum back on the top but you can see that we have a very clean presentable um, data set